What I love about wine is it's something you enjoy every day. To open a bottle, share it with my wife or with friends, it just highlights special moments. I think that collecting and storing wine are two different things, but also they're important to understand how they relate to one another. So collecting wine, you have to decide on why you're collecting wine. Are you buying and collecting wine as an investment? Are you collecting wines because you like certain wines and you want to have it available to drink on a regular basis? Or is it a combination of those things? And once you decide on that, then you need to come up with a strategy and understand what you're looking for and what you're buying. I know that sounds pretty broad based, but it's really important to understand that rather than just randomly buying things. But really in collecting wine, there's, there's no right answer. You should just be buying wines that you want to have available now or later that you really enjoy drinking. Even with investment, I like to say, if you're the first thing you should buy when you're investing in wine is a corkscrew. Because if your investment goes wrong, then at least you can drink the bottle. And as far as storing, of course, if you're collecting wine, you want to have the wine stored properly. And that means making sure that it's in a constant temperature of about 18 degrees centigrade. It can be a little bit lower, but you don't want it to be hotter with a humidity around 68 to 65% and that constant as well, with no light or vibration. And this is, is fairly accepted. Of course, we all know that in early days, I remember when I was just starting out collecting, I didn't have a place to really store it. So I stored it under my bed or in a cool place in the bathroom. But in any case, I think that collecting and storing has to be a dynamic thing. And as long as you start, you have to start. You can't just always say, oh, I'm not going to collect wine. I'm not going to store wine. I think it's just important to start doing it. Maybe your collection's five or six bottles that you want to have in your house. And you always have those wines available that you can drink with your family and friends. I think that's a, a good place to start. And then you move on from that. Mm -hmm.